Yes, how are you? Not too bad in yourself? I'm okay. Yeah. You, I you uh can... I just seen I just seen it post uh pop up on my YouTube that you were live there. So I haven't uh I haven't looked into a lot of your stuff. I've heard your name before, but uh okay. yeah, thanks. Uh, seemed like a nice guy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure my name is is quite popular, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you heard my name, yes. So uh, you have you have a lot you have a lot of people live, so that uh, you got to be pretty popular. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> For some odd reason, they watch me. I don't know. I still haven't figured that out yet. You know. So yeah, yeah. how are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, uh, I'm, it's been a bit since I, I've uh, talked with a Muslim, but uh, mm -hmm. so I. Yeah, but I like I said, you seem like a nice guy, so worth a uh, worth a try. So what are you? What do you believe? Like, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian, okay? Do yeah. you have questions about Islam, or you'd like me to ask you about Christianity? Why is it? Um. Well, I was just curious. Like, I've never, like I said, I, I haven't. I don't know your story. So, like, how you came to become a Muslim? Like, what what's your story? Yeah. Well, a very uh, important difference between Muslims and Christians is we don't we don't start talking about Islam through our personal experiences. Now, okay. what, when you when you when you speak to a Christian, they're always talking about uh, what happened, the life, the vision they saw when you know they were a drug dealer in the past, and then uh, <laughs> I was a I drug doer in the past, not a drug. Yeah, dealer. yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Something like this. They were doing okay. some, uh, and then you had Jesus come in your dream, or no, no. Uh, I I can I can share my story uh, if you want. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just trying to make like the common story. Yeah, the common yeah, story for... is always is similar to this. Like I was very living a very sinful life and. Either Jesus came in your dream or they saw something or something happened, something okay. happened in their life. And then okay. their life changed towards Christianity. Now, sure. this person experience is not evidence for anything. Okay. Because, because in the end, anyone can have personal experience in any religion. A Muslim yeah. can do this, a Hindu can do this, and they do do this. Yeah. I have yeah. personal experiences. I don't go around sharing the, oh, this is Islam, this is the truth because of that. So, so there's a difference between how you like introduce yourself, is how usually sure. Christian would like look about, at, at religion. We try to analyze things from a more of a different point of view, more of an objective point of view. Why is X true? What is your objective reasoning? Why do you believe this specific thing is true? Something that I can look at as well and investigate and then sure, lead sure. me to the conclusion that this specific thing is true. Not just okay. because you had a personal experience that I do not know, yep. that I've not seen, that I cannot verify. Yeah, yeah. Cannot be an evidence for me as well. So, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, then let me ask you this then. Because you, you don't seem like you're coming with the specific like questions, so well, I could I could ask like uh, just in response to that, what yeah. were some of the things about Islam that that you believe is true? Like, what were some of the uh, I guess things that made your faith strong? Yeah, well, uh, what makes Islam the truth is not to do with me is is the is to do with the teachings of Islam, right? There are multiple okay. evidences for for the, the truthfulness of Islam. One of these evidences that we can look at is the life of the Prophet ﷺ, for example. Him living his life, investigating the claims that he did, how he lived his life. It is an evidence and testimony by itself whether he was a true messenger of God or not. Because if you are a, a false messenger, it's very easy to tell the difference between a true messenger and a false messenger. They're the exact yeah. polar opposite. And through looking at their life, it's very easy to tell whether someone is a true messenger or not. So someone okay. like the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, who lived with his people for 40 years, before receiving revelation, and he was called the tr trustworthy, the honest. These are titles they gave him before revelation, before he went and he told them about revelation. And he went and he told them about God. Yeah. So uh, this was his the, life in the beginning. I guess one one point about that is like I know there's some Quran verses that talk about Muhammad and being like just an ear, like he's just repeating things he's heard, like stories he's heard. So so stories like the sleeper in the cave, or um, what's another one, uh, like. Jesus making a clay bird and then making it come to life when he was a kid or speaking from the womb. Like those are stories that were like known, like known stories after. So something like me as a Christian, if I, if I see a story like that, like they, like, I don't believe those stories, like certain ones like that, because like, um, they were known like stories. There were just made up stories like later in like later years after. So like, that 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 would be like one of the I guess a challenge I would have with like I guess with that yeah well that is not what the Quran is referring to so the, when the people say asatir al awalin the the um, you know the fa the fairy tales or stories of the ancient right when okay, they're, okay, when they're okay. referring to that they're not referring to these specific events because 
Now you're looking, this is the difference. Like you're looking at sure. things now. You're looking at scripture now. After okay. uh, you're the church, the made up church of Christianity determined what is canon, what is, what is not canon based on what they feel like. Specifically, Athanasius determining this is going to be the 27 books of the New Testament based on his whims and desires. It was that revelation coming from God. And then they said, okay, we don't like these other writings, so we're going to call them apocrypha. Then you have the Christians of today following things. You don't even know the history behind the, the books that they're reading, but they think, okay, this is apocrypha bad. It's fabricated. And this is not just because Athanasius said so. So you had a lot yeah, of Yeah, I, I would have to look in I would have to yeah, look yeah, into but... that. Like I, I'm not aware of like one Athanasius making a decision on what's canon and not canon. And like this the stuff basic... like the yeah, the yeah, apocrypha. This is, basic, this is basic knowledge that are written in, in Athanasius' work himself, by the way, in his letters. You can right now, actually if you Google this, uh, did Athanasius is the it will take you two seconds now. Did Athanasius okay. determine the twenty seven books of the New Testament? Uh, New Testament, you probably get the answer because but that's what I'm saying. These common basic knowledge ABC knowledge Christians are not even aware of. You're just proving the point I was making is that Christians don't even know the history behind the, the scriptures that they were reading. So you can read. What does it say? Uh, one second. Uh, yes. Yeah, I find that. Uh, uh, I don't know how to spell his name. If you don't even know the name of, of like one of the most important church fathers, literally. Well, see, and the thing, this like, is, so this is for my, like, his name. Yeah, so for myself as a right? Christian, yeah, so for myself as a Christian, like, did you, did I, you, I, like, did you, uh, did you research it? No, like, I, I don't know how to spell his name, to be honest with you. I put uh, it for you in the screen here. Put this. Uh, I don't see it. I'm not on YouTube. I don't know. If, do you have it on here? Okay, put, oh, put here we go. A... Comment. Okay, yeah. Well, just tell me how to spell it. I'll spell it right yeah, now. Yeah, put A T A T H A N A S I U S. And then put the, uh, deciding a 27 canon, a 27 books. It's just something it should pop up in the search bar. 27 canon. I mean, like, okay. Like, okay. Mm, some claim, some claim that Athanasius is the first person to identify the same 27 books of the New Testament. That is that are the in first thing today. that popped up for you? Uh, yeah, New Testament canon. So Athanasius, 39th festal letter written in uh -huh. 367, uh -huh. is widely regarded as. So, so why do you regard that? Huh? You see, you're not, you're not reading the first thing. Okay, look, so this is basic common knowledge because you're not going to find anyone before him determining that. No, but see, books. so, so this is the so, thing right now. So those, those books that are in yeah. the, like, so those books that are in the Bible that I have today were yes. accepted books by the early church. And those ones are all quoted. Like, so there's a book. Yeah, but you're not getting book. the point. Okay. Okay. They, they were accepted later after Ath Athanasius determined them. It's irrelevant whether they were accepted later or not. You, you need to understand one, one very important thing, right? The creeds okay. of Christianity, the numbers of the books, these things were not, there was no democracy at that time, you know? <laughs> you might think that they were g gathering the Christians, you know? I'm thinking, guys, what do you think? Do you agree on this? Are you going to believe in this? That was not how things were. There was a, a, a clear, cut, uh, clear cut forcing of certain beliefs from Constantine on the people, what they believed on and what they didn't believe. There was laws of apostasy. They were killing anyone who had any beliefs opposite to what they determined in the council. So if they determined in the council of Nicaea, 325 that Jesus is divine if you had any other beliefs oh that no no like count, council yeah. on Nicaea, that's not where they decided that Jesus was divine that's that the early church fathers believe that Jesus is like God like that was there's no question about okay. that okay okay so I think this this is going video is going to turn to education on the on on the history of Christianity okay look so we can no 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 okay go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. okay look yeah go what ahead. was the reason for the the council of Nicaea the council and you see it there was like the the who's um, arguing with who who is arguing with who the, uh, was it Arians? Arians were coming with a, a belief that Jesus was not God, that he was not. He so Arius was God one. or something. What's yeah, that? There was two. There was two people. One of them, the main one, is Arius. And what so, was he? So so anyway, so yeah, it wasn't a thing of like, do we believe that Jesus is God or not? It's like no, no, they... no, 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 no. It was about the co-equality, co-eternality of Jesus with the Father. Now, what was the position of Arius, and who is arguing arguing against him? The Arian belief, you mean? No, no. Arius is the, the Arius is the person. Is a church okay, I'm not familiar. Where, like, I'm, where, where I you have don't... the Arians are those who are following his position, right? This yeah, okay, is, oh, okay, yeah. That's yeah. why I'm saying it's going to be like a breakdown. Well, I'm not, yeah, so, 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 I... so, okay. So, uh, well, I'm trying because you said it's not this, so I'm just trying to bring it closer to you, okay? So, okay. what was the reason for the Council of Nicaea? The, the, well, there was a heresy that Jesus was not like they were saying that Jesus was who not determined divine? it was a heresy. Who determined What's that? That? Was, determ that was determined later on. The point of the council was to argue the idea. It was not because it was considered a heresy. It was a heresy later on. Arius had a position 
Again, this is well, ba basic, basic, which I would recommend later on for you. And well, I'll you, just, but, no, I'll just say, like, I, just I, I have allow to, me to finish. No, no, I'll, if you just, it's fine. Like, me, yeah, like, I'll finish I, and then you what can I've come. Seen, you can come. Yeah. As a, can I'll I just finish say and, What I'll no, no, say no, no, is. No, 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 but um, you cannot do it while, while I'm explaining something, right? But, because I, I, I'll, like, I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you speak. Don't worry. You get your chance to speak. Go ahead, go ahead. But not in the midst of me making a sentence. Yeah, go ahead. I'm saying I would recommend you and other Christians as well watching to read the church father history. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't be something you're scared of, like allowing someone to finish and say. So there was an, an argument happening. I, Arius used to believe in subordination, a position of subordination of Jesus. He was subordinate to the Father. He did not believe in co-equality uh, with him and the Father. He did not believe in that. And then you had Athanasius, which was the person that you were trying to spell his name before, because he's okay. the foundational person when it comes to church fathers. He was arguing against him. He was arguing for the co-equality of Jesus with the Father, etc. So... This was later on decided, and then it became a heresy to say otherwise. It became a yeah. heresy to have the position of Arius, and then you had Arianism and all of that. And then later on in 381, they were also adding the Holy Spirit, which was not there in the beginning. Now you are claiming well, the that, church that's fathers. In the Bible. Now you are claiming. Now you are claiming. No, no, no. I'm saying they were adding that the, the, it's not in the Bible saying that the Holy Spirit is co-equal, co-eternal with the Father, and the three are one. This I, I would is not disagree in the Bible. with that. I would disagree with that, but that's okay. Go okay, let's, okay. Again. Go ahead. Now, after I spoke about the church, the church father history, now you go, go show me. Where does it in the Bible say that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal, co-eternal? Go ahead. So, so there, yeah, there's, there's verses where Jesus says, I will send my spirit. And then there's one where the Father will send it. Like, so it's, it's all talking in the same, like, like, it's, it, like Jesus says he'll send his spirit. Like, when, like, it is good, it is better for you that I go, that when I go, I'll send my spirit to be with you. And then, like, so it's it's inter it's interchangeable between the the spirit of the Father and the spirit of Jesus. It's the same spirit, the Holy Spirit. And so, like, and and the spirit will lead you into all truth. Like, that's all. Yeah, just like. Do you uh, remember my question? Show you where in the Bible it is. No. What was what was my specific question? Because you answered something that is not to do with my question. Okay, like, sorry. In fact, your answer itself is evidence that is not is that is evidence against what I was asking. Because I was asking you, show me where does the Bible say. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are three co-equal, co-eternal entities. They're co-equal, meaning that they share equality in the attributes, and they share eternality in their existence. Now, this is a position of Christians today, but that position that was developed in 381, the claim I was making, you claim, no, 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 it's in the Bible. So I, I said, okay, if yeah, no, yeah. no, no, if no, 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 it's in the Bible, then show me where does it say in the Bible, where does it state the co-equality and co-eternality of the Father? Of, of the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Son. Then you brought verses in which Jesus commands the Holy Spirit, which shows if Jesus commands the Holy Spirit, they're not co-equal because one is commanding the other. So that is opposing... Well, he said he would just... send, send his spirit, but uh, one second. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he commands it as well. It proceeds from him. This is the supposition. So, so what you said send is in John. You have John 14 okay, so... and 16. If you want the verses in John, John 14 and John 16. If you're talking about the Great Commission of Jesus saying that uh, something called the Paraclete is there. He didn't say the Holy Spirit, by the way. Something different. So the spirit of truth, Paracletus in Greek. Okay, when, uh, so yeah. What, what, John like, 16 so, and John 14. Just, 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 just a, a verse that popped into my mind as we're talking about co-equal, co like uh, like the, the Bible is clear, especially like in the Old Testament, it says like, I, like God, um, like God, God doesn't share his, like God doesn't share like the, um, like so, so when you read like- Share his glory, Bible, is that what you want to say? Yeah, so, so when like that's, when that's I read in, something- That's an Isaiah. Yeah, so when I would read something in the Bible about like that, and then like over and over and over in, the, in like especially like in the New Testament, it's like Jesus is sharing the seat of God. He's he's he, and the Spirit too. So for instance, in Matthew yeah, you have a contradiction. You have a contradiction. Matthew twenty. No, no, it's not a contradiction if you if you believe in the Trinity. So Matthew twenty eight nineteen Which is says not in therefore, the Bible. Therefore, go and make. Yeah, it is, but that's no, fine. Tera, tera, therefore, tera, tera. Tera. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Just just one second. Just one second. The verse I'm trying to tell you is Matthew twenty eight nineteen. It says, therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them, them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And so what I what I'm the point I'm trying to make to you is like, if you read the Bible, like, I don't know if have you read the, through the New Testament? Uh, OK, yes. I've I'm read just the asking. Bible. You. I'm just asking yeah, a simple no, no, question. No, no. Have you read uh, through the New Testement? Yeah, I'm, yeah. it seems yes like no. you're having a bit of a breakdown. I want you to look. I'm very chill, right? And I'm yeah, I know. Like, I, I don't, I don't do the online. Like, like I said, this it's been a while since well, I've we're had just a having a discussion. Yeah, we're just having a discussion. Yeah, so I'm asking why you, you're... have you read through the New Testament? Yes, but there's no need for for like. Okay. <laughs> this, so this I'm just asking here. you. So when I'm you responding, read... I'm responding right now. Okay. Yeah. Do you want? So would you like you... me to respond? No, I want to finish what I was going to say. 
But you asked me a question. Well, I asked, did you read the New Testament? And you say yes yeah, or no. I, I was asking, do you, do you want me to respond? Yes, I have read the New Testament. Okay, Go great. Ahead. That's awesome. Now, what, I'll when, you finish. what I yes, want to explain, ahead. can I explain something? Yeah, of course. So if, if, if there's something where like uh, in this instant, right, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, like yeah. it ma like it wouldn't make sense. Like th that's just that's just one example in, in, in my opinion. Like that's just one that came to my mind of just like where there's like the Father, Son, and Spirit are one. Like it, 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 it all goes together. It's not like uh, there's no separation there. So like that was just one verse where I'm saying, and there's lots of verses where it says like, the father and the son like um glory the father and through jesus christ our savior so like there's that there's like the both it's the both and the father and the son like there so yeah so th that's just one I, I guess that's just one thing i would point to just as a, a as a christian where where like the father and the son they, they share they share well the, the trinity it, it makes the most sense of it well okay so you, you, you do not need to obviously share anything with me because I've read already the verses that you talked about and I know the answers sure. to them. If you, if you would ask me, then I would give you the answers. Like, for example, you mentioned the Great Commission, which allegedly sure. is a verse which, are disagree which is disagreed upon when it comes to its validity or authenticity when it comes to it being fabricated or not amongst the scholars. And the reason is simple. is because in that verse, he was ca he's commanding the disciples allegedly to do that, to baptize in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But not a single disciple later on baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we have them baptizing in Acts. And we have them baptizing in Acts after Jesus have ascended. And none of them have baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They all baptized in, in, in the name of Jesus only. This was how they baptized. Well, that's not, that's not true. In the, and, in the book of Acts, he baptized with the Holy Spirit. He gets well, baptized and, with the Holy Spirit after being only baptized in, uh, I think no, it was... Can, the, the, yeah, go ahead. Can you find me one one disciple yeah. who baptized in the name of that? Listen, listen, please to the question because I know. Yeah. Baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, like the verses. Find me one disciple. So, so, so this okay. So this is going to bring back to what I was going to say before when I was trying to like get my point out, and you thought I was cutting you off or something. I wasn't trying to cut you off. What I was trying to explain is, you you can explain to me what you believe about the early church fathers and stuff like that. Yeah. So, for instance, like with regards to. Um, early church fathers believing in the Trinity. This one, this one individual online, I'll say, was saying that no, he didn't believe in the Trinity, and he went through this whole, I guess, chapter or like uh, paragraph of what this. Uh, um, I can't remember Justin Martyr, maybe it was. I I, I can't remember. I, like I'm not super prepared, as you can obviously tell <laughs> for this conversation. Not am I. I was I was more coming on to have a conversation to like find out what you believe and then like just just get to know you a bit. So this is whatever obviously it's above my skill and ability here to have a conversation like this i'm i'm not super well rounded with like early church father teachings and stuff i'm like i i'm a i'm a kind of simple christian bible believing christian and i think i would do better on a conversation regarding just straight up bible and like i know you can disagree about what books were in the bible originally and stuff like that but if it'll be an easier conversation for me for sure if we just talk about the bible because i believe it's inspired word of god and uh and it, yeah so if we're talking about certain early church fathers i'm not going to have a lot of good information there for you to respond even with you say with athanasius i on the fly i don't know i'd have to go study happy to do that i enjoy doing that um but i'm not super keen on the or like I, I i'm not super keen on that as obviously as you can tell um okay but but what i'll say is this this individual online was teaching about you know uh, this person not believing in the trinity whereas if you actually go and look at his works he obviously believes that jesus is god the spirit is god and the father is god like there's no question about it it's just he's kind of twisting that and so i found that when i have listened to muslims teach online it's often like really skewed or like it, it's it's coming from and it's, you know what i don't, I don't even say I don't even know if it's if if it's uh like intentional. Even with you talking about Athanasius, I know I don't know what your background is in like teaching or like how how did you study Athanasius? Like, did you go to a school and learn about it? Did you just like learn from Muslim teachers about who Athanasius was? Did you like what was your? I guess and that's a question for you. Like, what was your take going into studying Athanasius? What were, what was your I guess what was your purpose with that? Okay, so. Do you agree? I allowed you to kind of yeah yeah speak. totally totally yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Thank so, you. So I hope you do the same with me now. Yes, when yes, it so comes yeah when it comes yep. to Athanasius, I I've, I've told you the source of the information is his actual letters. This is what he mentions the deciding of the twenty seven books. This is him his own writings. 
So the source is the primary source materials. That's why I was telling you the primary source materials. And there are multiple books written about the history, Christianity, history of the church, etc. But I was not talking about the church fathers. When you said you don't want to talk about it, you said you mentioned things about the Bible, about yeah, the Trinity yeah. being in the Bible. And then I moved into the Bible. But then you said yeah. we we're talking about the church fathers. We were not. We were talking about the Bible. And I was talking about the Great Commission, which is in the Bible. Talking about yeah, the yeah, Trinity, yeah. which is in the Bible. So we moved into the Bible. We're not actually yeah. talking about the church fathers. Uh, because, yeah, we don't need to talk about the church fathers. But sure, my sure. point, my point was that Trinity was not there. That's why it was made up by the church. You claim, no, it's in the Bible. Then I said, okay, where yeah. is it in the Bible? When you're talking about the verse mentioning the, the Spirit and the, and the Father and the Son, this sure. is, there is no issues. The Spirit okay. is mentioned in the Bible. The Father is mentioned in the Bible and the Son. Not, yeah. No Muslim yeah. ever said that these are not mentioned. What, yeah. what, what, my question was, the Trinity is not that. The Trinity is that these three are co-equal, co-eternal. That's why I was asking sure. you to find. What okay. you found okay. has nothing to do with that. You, what you need to find is a verse which says that they are Co-equal in their attributes. I mean, they all have equal attributes, have same knowledge, same power, same everything. These same attributes. And yeah. they're, they're co-equal co in their eternality when it comes to existence. This is what you would need to demonstrate from the Bible. This is what the Trinity is. Three persons. Have you, have you seen this book before? Three persons. No. Uh, three persons. I have not. Three persons. Uh, three persons in one being. Co-equal, co-eternal. This is what the Trinity is, and this yeah. is what I was asking that is not in the Bible. And you said, no, it's in the Bible, but so far you have not shown it. So, yeah. So, yeah, again, with, with showing you in that, I could show you many things. Like at the beginning of the Bible, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It says, uh, the spirit of God hovered over the waters and said, let us, uh, another verse says, let us make man in our image. In the image of God, he created the male and female. So that's in Genesis right there. You have let us. Who's the us? Would so, you like me to respond? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Up to you. <laughs> it's like, I'm just okay. So, no, all, so, all I was gonna yeah, say in the but... beginning, in the beginning of Genesis, yeah, when what you said, cre God created the heavens and the earth, which is Bereshit bara Elohim, Tashamayim vertar tar. When when it says bara, it's a verb to create in the singular form, which shows that God is is singular. But the word Elohim, but, can, but the yeah. word Elohim can can mean one and plural, and that's a plural of, of majesty that is is used in the Bible. And it is also used for Moses. Moses is one, but he's called Elohim in the Bible. This is a biblical language. The same language exists in the Quran, by the way. Not only that, it exists in English language. Something called the royal we. A royal we is where, where someone in, in a form yeah. of royalty uses the term we. It does not mean they're more than one individual. How do you know they're not more than one individual? There's not a single Jewish person who believes that because that's not what the, what the, what the text teaches. That's not true. And because that's the Bible. True. And because, that's not true. Okay. If I just finish, a Jewish person. I'm not talking about someone who became a Christian. Yeah, I'm talking about Jews. A, and, and now he became a Christian. I'm talking about the Jewish who's no, still No, no, I'm not person. even talking about Christians. I'm talking okay. like the original Jews, Old okay, Testament so, Jews. Yeah, yeah so, so Jews believe in more than one God, yeah? They believe there's more. No, no, Echad. Uh, the Lord our God is one. No, Echad, no, no, which is... I was saying they believe in one God. This is the, the statement Correct. that you're making. There's yeah. no Jew no, that would Jew. believe in more than one because the Bible explicitly mentions but, that. And just, no, just but, me, uh, if you allow me to finish, please. Well, yeah, I, I'll respond to what you just said that you don't... But believe. I finish like, it and then you can respond. There are, Jew, there are, there are Jews that did Okay, Tara, look, I'll, I'll let you go because I can. I'd, I would have to have... like There has to be mutual respect when I have a, a talk with someone, you know? If well, I allow you to speak to what for... you just for, said. If I allow you to speak for three, four minutes and literally in one minute, I'm not able to finish what I'm saying. Then there is an issue happening. There's an issue of patience. You see, you're not, you're not in the right mental state to have a discussion. Sure, sure. If, you, if you'd like to come, yeah, if, if you feel like a little bit like on the spot and this and that, you'd like to come totally. back another yep. time. Yeah, yep. that's fine. You'd like to come back another time when we have a nice, nicer discussion, a more relaxing yep. and calming one. Maybe we can do that, you know?